My name is Nick Duma, and I'm here representing Integrity Idaho. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, thank you for taking the time to hear this important legislation. As I said, I am Nick Duma. I'm from Nampa, Idaho, and a resident of District Number 13. I am the co-director of Integrity Idaho, a member of Integrity USA. Integrity is a fellowship for gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender persons and their allies within the Episcopal Church. Integrity Idaho represents the Diocese of Idaho regarding GLBT issues, and with the blessing of Bishop Brian Thom, who is with us here today, and on behalf of Integrity Idaho members and the Diocese of Idaho, I speak to you today. Ladies and gentlemen of the committee, I speak in favor of House Bill 2. Members of Integrity Idaho firmly believe and strive for inclusion and protection of rights for all persons in our parish churches, diocese, and our communities. The Idaho State Constitution, Article 1, Section 1, clearly states that all men are by nature free and equal and have certain inalienable rights, among which are enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, pursuing happiness, and securing safety. With the current wording of the Idaho Human Rights Act, this constitutional promise is simply not being fulfilled. Many of our GLBT brothers and sisters live in constant fear of losing their jobs, being denied housing, refused services, or even facing violent acts against them. It is imperative that we all work diligently together to ensure that all of Idaho's citizens are assured our constitutional promises of life, liberty, pursuing happiness, and most importantly, securing safety are ensured. Now I speak for myself. I am a proud gay father. I have a beautiful 12-year-old daughter who is growing to be a vibrant, open-minded, and very lovely young lady. I've always taught her that all people, regardless as to who they are, are to be treated equally and with respect. I want her to be proud of her home state of Idaho. However, with the current status of our human rights law, it's hard to do that. Idaho is simply too great to allow disenfranchising behavior or speech hurt her citizens. To not amend the current law would be the equivalent of posting signs at our borders, simply stating you're not welcome here. This would be a travesty as everyone should be welcomed equally within our beautiful state. Help us build a state that our children and grandchildren can be proud of and feel safe in. As men and women of faith, we have a responsibility to ensure that everyone can feel safe to be who they are without fear of being ostracized. We are commanded to love our neighbor, and that means everyone, without regard as to how they might identify themselves. We, the members of Integrity Idaho, and myself as a citizen, call upon all Idaho legislatures, re legislators, regardless of party affiliation, to add the words sexual orientation and gender identity to the Idaho Human Rights Act. We call upon the legislative bodies to pass this legislation with great haste. All of Idaho's citizens deserve every protection possible. Passing an equal protection statute is the right and just action to take. It is our hope and prayer that very soon all citizens of our great state will have and enjoy equal protection and that our GLBT brothers and sisters will no longer live in fear and most simply it is just the right thing to do. Pass House Bill number two. Thank you. Are there questions? Seeing none, thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.